Hello, we are Moda Moda, the art of honey taste. Uh, probably we are the first project about the monofloral varietal honeys from all around the world. Today we would like to tell you about uh, monofloral honeys uh, in Russia. We have three samples. Uh, the first one is polyfloral honey. Uh, the Russia mostly famous with polyfloral honey. There are as many sorts, uh, I should say even sorts uh, of polyfloral honey as uh, many plants and regions uh, in this great, in our great country. <laughs> so, uh, Nick uh, will help us uh, to describe the taste of and consistency and describe the honey. <laughs> I will say <coughs> whatever is in my power uh, about these uh, amazing varieties here represented on this table. My name is Nick Kurchanov. I'm a teacher of English here in St. Petersburg, Russia. And uh, this is the most, we can say, commonplace variety of this amazing gift of nature. This is quite solid, so I need this uh, another spoon here to help it off the spoon and onto this uh, color definition palette. Yeah, that's the one region. You know, Russia is northern country, and uh, this polyfloral honey is from the northern region of our northern country. <laughs> so it's already crystallized. Uh, it oh, it's always crystallized very quickly uh, once ma one month after harvest, I suppose. This is quite nicely set, as you can see. You now I'll try it. Put a dollop of that on my tongue here. Mm. You have to literally chew through it. It's quite strong honey. Ideal as uh, just common table honey, yet it's got an interesting, unique feature about it. It's distinctly sour, and the sourness is kind of enriching it underlying it and propping it in a way and the sweetness is really shadowed over by this uh, sour touch that it possesses. Wonderful honey for all occasions. You can use it for your mulled wine, you can use it for your pancakes or whatever. Just a wonderful rather rich but unobtrusive uh, Everyday honey, I would say. <laughs> you know, we eat it always and everywhere. <laughs> it's our the most popular honey, I suppose. 